Hey to YouTube, this is Rock, and on this edition of Heroes of the Storm, we're going to be playing Zagara, who's excellent in both laning and team fights. Stick to the end of the video to see if I can break 50,000 damage in both categories. Peace. Alright, so this is Zagara that we're going to be trying today. Um, we're going to uh, do a little show of her. Um, she's an interesting creature from StarCraft, if you know that game at all. So we're going to show you here the first ability is her Q ability, which is called Baneling Barrage. And you basically shoot out these little Banelings here, you can see. They get bigger as they go. Now you actually have multiple charges of this that you can save up. Like right now I can have up to six charges um, being at level 20. Um, and the one thing that you have to know about this ability is that you aim it and one click you get one Baneling even though you get six charges. So if you want to do a bunch of them, so like this, you got to keep clicking the button and clicking where you want them to go for them to aim out like that. Um, so that's something to realize as you're doing that. Now, oh, the one thing that I forgot to mention is that her trade ability, which is one of her most important abilities, is called Creep Tumor. So we're going to drop down this tumor here. And you're going to see this creep that's going to appear on the ground. It's going to get bigger and grow. Um, and the more of these you put down, the, whoop, the bigger the creep is going to get. Now, other um, heroes can destroy the, these creeps. They do have hit points on them, and they do have a, a long timer on them. Um, they last for 240 seconds. Um, so there is a timer on them. Eventually, they will go away if nobody destroys them. But you get an advantage for being on this creep, so you really, you really want to be putting it out as much as you can. One, if you look at the mini-map, all of this area here you can see. So it clears vision for you and everybody on your team. So Zagar is really good for keeping vision of the other team. If you can get a lot of creep going, you're going to just be able to see more and more of the map. Uh, so you're going to be able to tell where everybody else is. So, which is a, definitely an advantage when you're in a quick match. Or any kind of match, actually. Um, and the other advantage to this is that you actually get a little bit of a buff for being on the creep. Uh, while on creep, Zagara gains 20% additional attack range. And both Zagara and her summons move 20% faster. So you move faster on the creep. So, like, if we get off the creep, you know, she's... She's kind of slowing down a little bit, and then as we get on the creep again, you can kind of see the, the, the speed increase there. So another good reason to have a bunch of creep on the map. Um, because the more creep you're going to have, the more attack power you're going to have, and, that all, and the faster you're going to move. So more creep. Lots of advantages to it. So you want to be putting down tumors any chance you get. Uh, because one, the enemy team, if they know what they're doing, are going to be destroying them. Um, so you want to make sure that you're replacing them as often as you can. So her W ability is Hunter Killer. So you're going to summon out this Hunter Killer on a target. So like if we select him, a Hunter Killer is going to come out. And even though that he died, the Hunter Killer keeps going. Um, he only lasts a certain amount of time, which is 8 seconds, um, but he also has a certain amount of hit points. So if uh, the enemy heroes kill him, obviously he's not going to last the full 8 seconds, but it is a nice little thing. But you do have to see, like, I can't just, like, summon him wherever I want him. Uh, you literally have to have somebody for him to attack at least the initial summon. And then after that, he just goes from there. And there we go. Now, his uh, her E ability is Infested Drop. 
Um, these are a nice thing. Um, Zagara is a huge lane pusher. Uh, if you leave her alone, she's just going to push the lane down on anybody. Because one, you could shoot out these banelings, which does a bunch of damage. Um, you can't really do, you know, the hunter killers on towers or any of your buildings. But, um, they're really good for taking out, you know, these guys here. So that your, your little minions will help push. And, this infested drop. You drop it right by a tower. And these little roaches are going to come out. And if nothing else, they're probably not going to do damage to a lot of damage to the tower. But what they are going to do is they're going to suck up tower shots. Um, it also, these little roaches do help if you're trying to push the lane to put uh, to keep the lane going too. You know, if you get your roaches out, you get your um, hunter killer out, and you throw out some banelings. Look how much damage I did on that. I just cleared that tower down really easily. So you want to keep creep going as much as you can. Obviously I haven't been in this uh, tutorial just to be able to see as much vision as you can. You can have, you know, you do have three charges on it. So you definitely can get a bunch of this creep going. And you use your hunter killers on people to, you know, these little minions to clear the lanes out. You do your infested drop on the towers. They're gonna do some damage and knock out some, knock out some of the the tower shots. So that's the kind of stuff you're gonna do. Now, see this creep back here, as you see, has ran out. So I have to replace it if I want to, you know, keep seeing it. So you know, nobody killed it. It just happened to run out. Okay, so uh, her first heroic ability is called, um, that I kind of like using, is uh, Nidus Network. So what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to place this Nidus worm here, which you can get into. And as you're in there, it replenishes health and mana, um, and you can come out at any time. It does last, uh, does it last a certain amount of time. No, it just has hit points. So it lasts, it stays there until somebody kills it. Okay. Now you can only place this on creep. So, see like this. Since there's no creep, I can't put it there. But I can put it here because there's creep. Um, so that's something to keep in, you know, in mind as you're placing these. Is you do want them on creep. Um, oh, they're, all, they're only going to be placed on creep. Now the other advantage is that, say, let's place another one here. Okay. Now we have two of them. We do have two charges. And as it replenishes, we can have as many of these out as we can. As long as, um, you know, nobody kills it. We're going to just be able to have, like, see, I have, like, three of them out. Now I can get into this and why it's called a network is that I can go to any of them that I want. Now that I'm in it, I can click on this one and click out. Boop, and I'm out. It's a really nice way... Oh, it looks like Arthas killed that one. It's a really nice way to get around the map if nobody um, if nobody kills it. Um, you can move around, you can move from the top of the map to the bottom of the map if you happen to have placed your Nidus Worms there. Um, and it, it if you place them where you are, it's a nice escape. You can get in there and get replenished on your mana and your hit points. So let's reset the talent. And the other one that a lot of people use um, is called the Devouring Maw. Now this is definitely a nice... Um, it's it's a definitely more of a, of a team fight oriented. It's, it's kind of like a... I guess you would call it a stun or something like that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna devour them. So we're gonna put it up right here. Oops. Help if I hit the right button. And you're just gonna devour them inside, which they can't do anything. Nobody can take any damage. Um, well, the devouring mod does a little bit of damage to them, um, but it's also a nice uh, uh, stopper. You can put that devouring maw out. Let's uh, toggle off cooldowns. Um, and you can pull in as many people, you know, I only have Arthas here to show this on, um, so I only have one person I can pull in, but if there happens to be, like, four people standing right there, 
I could get all four people right into that devouring maw. That gives time, you know, for them to take some damage from the maw, and it also um, gives them time, you know, your team time to set up for the kill. You know, you can you can put that out. Everybody gets sucked into it. Everybody gets ready to do other stuns or something like that, and it just it can be quite devastating. Um, so those are Zagar's abilities. Uh, now we're gonna queue up for a quick match and uh, see what kind of sieging they allow me to do today. Okay, so we got the Inferno Shrines. This will actually be kind of an interesting map, I think, to show off Zagara. Uh, so the friendly side, we have obviously Mia Zagara, we have Thrall, Tassadar, Lieutenant Morales, and Vala. So we got a, a nice comp, I think, there. On the enemy side, we have Tassadar, we have Asmodan, Nazibu, Nazibo, Chromi, and Malfurion. Alright, so they got two supports. We got Thrall and Lieutenant Morales, and yeah, we got two supports too, okay. So, I can look sometimes, I can see, you know. So if you've never been on the Infernal Shrines, what's going to happen is at certain points, uh, these shrines are going to activate that you're going to be able to click on and if uh, the, uh, whichever side can actually um, kill 40 of those little minions that come out you're gonna have a Punisher uh, appear on your screen that's gonna help on your side push um, so this is a big kind of this is a map it's a big map that uh, does both. Um, you definitely need some sieging and you need team fight oriented. Which I think Zagar is actually pretty good at both. I mean, Zagar can put out some good numbers on both sides, uh, hero damage and um, with sieging. You know, if left alone, I could push a lane down pretty well with her. But also in a team fight, you know, uh, with the Devouring Maw and with. Uh, her bane links and stuff like that, she can put out some pretty good damage. So I'm just going to shoot that a little bit and see. So level 1 I forgot to mention, the first one I'm going to take is Infest. Um, and it just allows that these little minions are going to do so much more damage. Um, as they're doing, you know, it says uh, ranged minions deal additional 200% damage. So you're just going to be doing so much more damage uh, with those little minions that are going to help you push. So that was level one. That's the one I packed is infest. So these little minions here, this may not be the best lane for me to be in because of Asmodan here, um, because I'm just fighting him uh, for push siege and he does he does a little bit better than I do for, for actually pushing and, and killing lanes. And of course the first shrine is going to be active on the top up here. So let's see if we can clear this lane down. Hopefully, I hope, our team is going to be rotating up. I'm just going to take a shot at that tower. I'm hoping... So I'm just going to try to get these minions down, throw my roaches out there, throw my hunter killer, my banelings, my banelings definitely do a lot of damage to these guys. Valo went down. 
We're ahead on numbers on these guys. And I am like out of mana. Alright, so level 4 here. We're going to go down to the Sippy Cup, grab mana. Level 4, we're going to go with Medusa Blade. And I think we're going to win this Punisher. We did. And we cowed, killed Nazebo. And I am doing what I said I should be. I'm not doing what I said I should be doing. I have completely forgot about putting creep out here. I'm completely failing at Zagara. I really like taking down those walls. Yeah, we got a tower down. Alright, level 7. We are now ahead. We're going to do Baneling Massacre. And I got put into stasis again. I'm just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And I'm out of mana. Alright. So that was a good good thing there. I gotta go back. I'm out of mana. And that was a good time for me to go back. Because I'm gonna head down here and I'm gonna start pushing creep if I can remember to do so. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I spent all that time and not even, I didn't even think about my creep. I need my creep because I do more damage. And I move faster. So let's put some creep there. Yeah! Look at that! <laughs> that was awesome. So level 4, we're going to go with Devouring Maw. That was awesome. We killed them all. And we're just going to be pushing and pushing and pushing. And I'm going to be putting down Creep when I remember to. Because I need that. Can I get it, anybody?
Yeah! Get in there. Yeah, we're just pushing down the lane here. <laughs> and I'm now out of mana again. So I'm just going to get out of here. Level 13. We're going to go with Hydralis Transformation. Transfumation. I see some of my creep up here is disappearing, so it's not quite as good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a camp. Get this camp push in here. Get some roaches going. There we go. What I really should be doing is dropping creep here. Get some creep going. I'm not coming up here by myself. And I'm coming back for a sippy cup. Because I am low. And then I'm just going to come back up here and keep going. You know, if they're, if they're, if they're going to stay away. Get some roaches out here. That was crazy. Another one. I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dual push here. Level 16, we're going to go with Mutilus. And we're just melting people.
<laughs> Look at our little guy's cute. This is turning out good. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you want to take me on? Oh, I got into a stasis field. Yeah, the Punisher's gonna push. I'm gonna do this. Let them worry about a couple. I think we're going for core. Let's put down some creep. Ah, that's good game. All right. So there we go. That's why I really like Zagara. She is. She's good in both instances, just because of taking uh, shots out of towers, uh, you know, with her roaches and stuff like that. Um, the Bane Links, just shooting out her Bane Links. Um, she could do so much damage to heroes and to towers. So let's see what we did, how we did. Our stats. Oh, it's not letting me. Oh, I can't look at my stats? No! Oh, the game froze on me. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I can't look at my stats. I can't see how well I did. The game froze. And that wraps up another video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment below for any heroes you'd like to see or builds you want me to try out. I read them all. If you want to know when my new content comes out, subscribe and stalk me on social media. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the Nexus.